Hey guys, Tyler 2K here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Tampa Never Sleeps 9, uh, aka CEO Never Sleeps. Uh, this is a tournament that was held in Florida, obviously, uh, or I guess if you're not from America, I guess not so obvious, but uh, this is a, a tournament that was held in Florida. Now granted, I don't know if it was held in Tampa per se, uh, but I know it was down in the south there. Uh, this is not part of TWT uh, 2024, which I believe will start up uh, right about the same time as Evo Japan, which will be in roughly about a month from now. Uh, but same thing. This is still like a pretty decently sized, uh, good, uh, I, I was going to say master's event, but like major event for, uh, uh, you know, any Tekken. And also, furthermore, in case you don't know by the title, uh, this is actually a team event. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the top four of the event. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll cover the top eight per se, but I definitely want to cover the, the team because I had heard that this was the spicier of the two uh, tournaments. So um, I don't know. Oh, sorry. I don't know the final results. I don't know major spoilers. Now I do know who wins, but as usual, I'll try my best to stay impartial. Also, uh, because this is still a new game, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff I, I don't quite know. Uh, although, as usual, please let me know in the comments below with a time code to my mistakes so that we can learn from my mistakes. Uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, well, I take it back. You guys, for the for the public, this isn't going to come out in time, but I am doing the match review on Sunday just in case it does come out. Okay, we have Unexcited versus Dastry. Oh, trying to poke through. Okay, full series. Yeah, force to hold it. Okay, I think plus six option. Nice duck. Light punish on the Hypnotizer 4, though. Oh, is that a kill? Oh, no. Get low slump, unfortunately. Oh, he goes for a down back two, but there's no frames to beat the power crush. Had Unexcited gone for the down back one, he would have beat it. The 12 frame low. Okay, decent punish. Interesting dash. He goes for one down two into a Hypnotizer line rather than taking the plus six, I think it is, to the back. Okay, four for three. Whoa, she, she looked like she stepped to the strong side, huh? Okay, not that punishable. Uh, as far as I know, Xiaoyu still has stand three on 14, so I imagine uh, she does get a combo here. Dash G, light punishes so far, but maybe warming up. Big four for one plus two, hard commit. Running one plus two, lockdown. Try sidestep two, though. Probably not the best idea, but I do like the heat smash. The 10 frame heat smash from Jack is huge. Oh, and he's dead. Yeah, should get off the wall. Oh, where's the rage art? That's not a kill. The scaling on heat smashes are so bad. You have oh yeah, the shooting star. Yeah, you have to take the rage arts. Yeah, don't it, unless you a hundred percent know your heat smash is a kill. Don't. Okay, I like the challenge there. Side stuff four, as far as I know, is still I believe at least minus two. Okay, decent punish, but wow, lets it out. Okay, not the best combo. Unexcited with a four three one plus two lines, kind of weird. He probably wanted maybe forward three into flex. Okay, debug option, not a kill. Force 50-50, plus frames, plus frames. Ah, I do like that. I like using the heat smash there in that position. Uh, Dash, you didn't have enough health. The rage heart through. Uh, has to hold that. Wow, empty jump over the wake up three, but somehow unexcited wakes, uh, is able to recover in time. Okay, that is a uh, force 50-50 throw. Goes for the uh, waning moon. Unscaled hit, big side step four, and that should be a kill, maybe not too close. Okay, now force go three plus four. Dastry smartly not mashing any buttons in that position, uh, and then gets clipped. Okay, I think these are first the ones, right? This is a proper term, team tournament? Okay, looks like we have Placus on deck. Yeah, these these are first the ones. Now, granted, um, I, I assume it's all first the one, and then, you know, you know, kind of Pokemon style, once you're out, you're out. But I don't know for a fact. <laughs> so all I know is I imagine winners, or sorry, grand finals uh, will definitely be, uh, you know, a reset uh, if for loser if they get a, a game there. Okay, we got Bloodhawk versus Dastry. Okay, nice duck. Light punish. Okay, light punish both ways, yeah. I think the back four uh, two is at least 12. So Bloodhawk was probably better off taking the 3-4 uh, punish. Okay, I also like uh, Bloodhawk using this down three meta. Uh, only down two three, I think, is still super super punishable. Granted, Xiaoyu does have a 14 frame stand through. Wow, get over here! Holy crap, that's not a kill because the air scaling. Uh oh. Okay, lockdown. Yeah, I like I like Dastry jockeying for position. Interesting. Goes for AOP one plus two. Try to turn steel out with another AOP drop, but it looked like the hammer hit. Okay, back two two. That is launch punishable. 50-50. Okay, flip over, up forward four line. Okay, no duck on the Shaolin. 
Wow, full crouch up forward three, spicy. Wow, waiting for over commitment, but Bloodhawk hits a button too late, gets counter hit by the AOP 1 plus 2. Yeah, that's no longer a uh, wall bounce, because the wall bounce mechanic is gone, so now it's its old uh, 1 plus 2 counter hit instead. Okay, yeah, force 50 50. Bloodhawk, look at all the recoverable health he had after this combo. One touch, I mean, that's the power. It's recoverable gauge, but still, one touch is a kill, so nice down back two at the Force 50 50. Goes for the uh, BT, I think that's down three. Down four, I think, is the unsafe one. Okay, big throw, 4 for 4 line, 1 plus 2, okay. Wall's a little bit janky. The 4 for 2, 2 slide 1 was kind of spicy. Might be a backup or a miss input. Okay, wall should be really good. Okay, too far, unfortunately, for the dragon. Uh, the Legend Kick, sorry, I was going to call it Dragon the Cannon, but... 4 for 3 fishing, yeah, I wonder if Dash Tree's trying to do instant running 3. Wow, still a bit of link, nice. Yeah, I think she's trying to go for running 3, but she's mistiming the inputs. Okay, down back 1, heat engage option. Or 50-50, takes the low off of Hypnotizer. Wow, big double flippy. Stand four line. I don't think that's anywhere near preferred. Okay, Dash still has access to one more 50 50. That uh, heat burst is a little bit scary, though. Okay, nice read. Again, that's a, a complete 50 50 on the jumping throw. Okay, nice defense from Dash Tree. Entering manual slide and like transitioning. Sorry, there we go. A good break on the com one. Okay, wall stand charge two. Not going to be a kill, especially without meter. Oh, I do like that. Single uh, little jump rope and just, you know, run away trying to get a Bloodhawk to overcommit. Okay, no punish on the 4 4 2 3. I, I don't know how punishable it is in this game, but it used to be at least 15. I'm sure it's still at least 12. Especially now, like, the fact that he has the 4 4 2 into the mid cancel. Okay, nice AOP drop, evading the incoming 1 plus 2. Nice micro step right to evade the hypnotizer mix up, though. From Placus. Okay, feeling the pressure. Beautiful low parry. Okay, combo potential reduced. Drops the Legend Kick Ender. It luckily doesn't get clipped by the reset. Ooh, link option, non launcher, and that's a kill. Yeah, okay, I didn't know that. I didn't realize off of Xiao Yu, the forward four, I think that is. Yeah, it guaranteed back four, too. So that's at least plus 12 at that range. It's probably 14, though. But it, sorry, it, it's probably 13. Because in hindsight, then that would mean stand 3 would be a link guaranteed for Xiaoyu. And typically what you find with these characters is when they have a plus 14 option, um, it will put the opponent into a crouching stance such that nothing is guaranteed. So, like, for instance, a good example uh, would be uh, Paul, for instance. Whenever he gets his, uh, like I said, I think it's plus 14, but they're put in a position where, like, an option like back 3 doesn't work. So that might be, like, a similar analog uh, to that, what I'm talking about. Okay, we have Fear of Silence versus Dash Tree. Nice running two, bloop spark, good duck, but no punish. Now what's spicy here is Xiaoyu doesn't have a 15 frame wall stander, so she can't actually launch that. Wall stand 1-4 is not bad, but it's not nearly as good as a full launch. Okay, doesn't full spot, get a little bit of meter back. Although I take that back, we're pl this, this was three days ago when I recorded this, so they got rid of that. I forgot. That was in the patch notes. Commits, K. Okay. Wall crush. Big orbital, not a kill, though. Ah, oh, it's a staggered offense. Interesting uh, fear went for down 3-2, though, instead of down 3-4. Usually you want to go for the safer option of the two. The down 3-4 also makes it such that if you don't wall stand for it, you get clipped by the second hit. And the second hit's only, I think, minus 11 anyway. Okay, Dash, you're doing a pretty good job on maintaining space, but Fear eventually uh, breaks through. Nice free from Dash on the 4 for 2 cancel. Uh, with heat mode, that is inescapable to throw. Wow, counter hit, Demic 2? Okay, is Dash going to pop her meter is the question. No, 4 for 3 plus 4 into jump away up back 4? Or up 4 4? Weird. Okay, nice. Breaking tension with the down forward 2 into back 1 usage, or down forward 1 back 1 usage. Throwing Fear's game off. That's uh, a long-lasting Dragonov problem. Okay, no punish. That's minus 13. Running 3 option. Commits the uh, AOP 2-1. No punish from Fear. Keep in mind, Dragonov does have a Sabaki and a Parry. Sorry, by which I mean Reversal. Okay, and he's dead. 
hypnotist stance. Daystri. Yeah, shall you just shit damage whenever the situation's good? One more round. Okay, lockdown. Wow, down for three plus four. I don't know if that even beats AOP. To go to grand finals. Hey, good break on the comp too. There we go. Down for one, churn steal into BT one plus two immediately. No fear from Dastry. Hip branch option, lockdown. Fears having problems with pacing. Dastry's really breaking this. Whoa. Interesting. Power crush through. Wow, that was weird. I'll have to remember that. Wow, nice little micro duck under forward four. Light punish though. Okay, back one. One T one is very dangerous. If Dastry pops into AOP. Oh, and she's dead. Back four is guaranteed anyway, but that's a kill regardless. Yeah, I mean, if she reads that, either... Unless you have to micro-step AOP right, uh, she can just drop AOP and just punish Fear for overcommitting there. Uh-oh. Inscapable tackle. That's a red life destruction. Down three solo poke. Okay, walls into overcommit. Okay, pops the rest of the meter, though. Interesting back three... Back four or three, sorry. Hit, even though back four or three is a high. Holy shit, what a turnaround. That was... Dash, she was playing really well, and she kind of just got overwhelmed. I think she might have panicked. Oh, what the heck? I just skipped, like, 20 seconds. That was weird. Okay, we got Fear of Silence versus the Rizza. Or I shouldn't say the. <laughs> okay, out of the air. Oh, I like the recognition. Down like 3 plus 4 lockdown. Gets the full splat. Rizza. Oh, I would say he was dead. Well, he's dead now after Blizzard Hammer. Yeah, unfortunate the running four uh, didn't give the wall splat. Might have been either a little bit late or weird Axie. Wow, JG has a way to beat the incoming four crush. Shout forward one. That was hella cool. Okay, too far for wall. Forced to hold it. Commits to the high option. I like the wall stand two idea there. Uh, wall stand two does have some high crush built into it, and it's hit confirmable on counter hit. Oh, no break on GS, and he's dead. Hella dead. Oh man. Okay, big comeback already. Okay, commits it to it. Nice read on the incoming 4 for neutral 2. Super light punish both ways. Yeah, the 3 plus 4 there would have been launch punishable. And of course, the uh, 1 plus 2 with Dragonov is minus 14 as well. Okay, not the best punish from Rizza. That might cost him. Big counter hit. Wow, in Fear's... Oh my god. All in 4-2-1. No fear from Rizza. Holy crap. In wow. The 1-2-1 one, one commit. Rizza was just getting stuck in Crouch Dash. Okay, light punish. Yeah, I've talked about it before. It's really important when the opponent gives you a knockdown situation to take the knockdown. 1-2-1 one, one with Dragonov. Oh, uh, light punish. Yeah, 1-2-1 one, one with Dragonov is minus 14. King does still have back 2-1 on 14 for knockdown. Back 1-2 for superior frames. 2-1 is good frames, but it's not enough to break tension. Okay, but the game is going both ways. Big counter trade. Interesting. Okay. Oh, spicy. Can he get the link? He is able to. Nice. Oh, he tries running forward, but he's too far. Okay, plus six. We didn't go for Back four, two option. Big GS. Not going to kill him, though. Going to do a ton of damage. Right outside of rage, too. Fortunate. Wall stand two doesn't cause a spin in this game, though. Plus frames. Wow, nice read on the, the JGR4, no duck. Churn, steely, options. Fear just staying just calm enough to, uh, you know, duck and properly punish the incoming 4 foot neutral too. That was super chaotic. That whole sequence was really rough. So, back forward two. I like the I like the challenge here. Back forward two with Dragonov is safe. But I think it's like minus six or so. So, one check would also cut lock down. So, from here... Wall stand 2-2, two, two, like I said, because it's no longer a it's no longer a spin, it doesn't tornado spin rather in this game. Uh that there's no combo extension, right? So Rizza's put into a negative position. So here he pops heat burst to help lock down. If that means a fear of silence goes for wake up three, wake up four, anything, um, Rizza will, will be fine and he'll be left at plus two. So he takes the wake up four, which I believe is seven. Rizza, no fear, pops heat smash immediately, uh, and is left into like I think a plus eight situation. So in this case, he goes for JGR4, uh, and because uh, Fear was specifically looking for a high option like JGR1 plus 2, right, the inescapable grab, he's not ready to punish the 
the JGR4 with like a wall stand four or whatnot. Luckily, the down two puts him in a good position, and he's able to bait out a retali you know, retaliation here, but no duck on the down, you know, four or two one. One jab plus six into four four neutral two, which is a good idea. Take the plus six. You know, if Fear tries to do like a jab or butt or stand four, uh, the four for neutral two will naturally crush. And let's say in this position, the four for neutral two won't kill anyway. Uh, he'll still be left, I think, at plus seven. So four is 50 50 for the win. But it doesn't matter because Dragonov has the wall stand one three on 12. So even if it was like one frame slower, uh, it would still be enough to punish, though. So, oh, nice to get the, the little uh, the chat dance going on. Oh, Jin, okay. So we got Fear of Silence versus Maybe. Okay, good duck on the down four. They just launch punishable, but if you're not going to punish it first try, that's for sure. Yeah, I like that. Delaying the two, one, four. Okay, Maybe's looking a little flustered already. It ducks. That one locked down. Yeah, the, the two one is kind of weird. Fear definitely should have went for one, two, because one, two is a mid second hit. Oh, I don't like this combo, though. Yeah. He had the penalty because you can't use Heat Burst and Heat Dash in a single combo. Unless you're uh, Brian. Good duck. Where's the punish? Okay. Fear. Fishing. Yeah, his timing is really off. No duck. And no break on the two, and that's a kill. Ah, that was Mei Mei's game to lose. And a lot of tactical mistakes there. Okay, no punish. I think back one two is only minus 12. Ooh, he doesn't take his turn. Down two with a lot of, like, aid and uh, fear alive. Okay, big. That was a counter hit, um, non-electric, so that's why it launched. Dominic four, option, down two. Interesting, down four two. Whoa, okay. Ooh! Oh, my God. So he he wanted the sliding uh, win Godfist, so, like, the really staggered option. Uh, but I think he held down too long. He got down two instead. So we're getting it down two. I like the up four two churn still there. Dragonov's gonna have a major problem tracking that down. So, okay, no punish. Picks the plus frames. Good parry on the uh, CD four, but very light punish. Okay, one plus two is huge. What is May May gonna go for? He goes for four four two. Okay, I don't hate it. Big trade. Ooh, that was scary. Down two? Okay, knockdown. Oh my god, I can't believe he was in running three range. Oh, yeah, the, the, it was scary popping the heat burst at zero like that. If he or just did rage art immediately, he would have won anyway. Usually, you don't want to do heat burst in a situation like that. Okay, low option. I like it. You know, he hasn't launched punish down by three plus four yet, so just keep doing it. Who cares? CD4. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was late. That was just the perfect range. Okay, heat burst. Or heat smash, sorry. Nice punish. Ah, plus eight into the 15 frame heat smash of Dragonov. Nice. Even if um, Mei Mei was to go for parry, uh, parries don't work on heat smashes. So, kind of a weird, a weird change this game. Hopefully, they reconsider. I mean, Jin is clearly showing himself to not be super, super good. Like, arguably top five. He probably is still top ten. And then Leroy has been gutted so much in this game, right? It's like, come on, man. Give, throw Leroy a bone. Like, why does Asusena have a low reversal, but Leroy's doesn't? So stupid. You know what? You know, If he was in rage or in heat mode, you know, just give it to him anyway. Okay, we have Shinobi-kun, uh, 904 versus Junior 20Z. Okay, nice carry. Kiyosu um, two line after the... Uh, I want to call it Haze one. I can never remember what it's called. Okay, I like that. Yeah, the, the skill or the strength of down forward one with Raven is the fact that uh, he has an extension now. So you can kind of open the opponent up and use those. I think it minus, it's either minus one or minus two. I think it's minus two in this game. Wow, nice movement. Okay, wall's not great. Okay, big full crouch option. Uh, the secret to full crouch down forward three plus four. The, oh, wow. The secret in this game is you hold forward, guys. Just hold forward. Yeah, that was a super clean electric god fist. I was popping off on that. Okay, fishing, white hole, big counter at trade. Luckily, that's safe on block. Okay, another quicksand. No confirm on the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, interesting down forward 1-2, but 
Uh, it got clipped by the backpack two reversal of Raven, and he didn't get hit airborne either. That's crazy. Plus frames. Okay, I. I mean, I don't understand it. <laughs> and I think he's plus eleven after that heat smash. You can just go for a 50-50. The benefit of going for the full crouch down three, I think that is. It's here down three. I think it's down three. I think down four three is the old move. The benefit is it sets up a back turn reversal trap. So with Raven, you can do shadow. It's called for BT. Shadow forward one plus two. That beats kicks. And because Reyna doesn't actually have a um, knee or elbow or whatever out of that position, she has to hold it. Wow. Tries to BT parry, but no dice. Okay, wall stand two, fishing, does a double wall stand two though. Probably should have went all in. Okay, fall splat. Takes it down back to one, to one plus two. Yeah, interesting, trying to get like a meaty forward three timing, but it's meaty attacks in this game are a little bit weird. Okay, easy kill. Yeah, it's due down back to one into one plus two, easy. Under effects of heat mode, it's like doubly good too, so. Okay, another Xiaoyu. I'm glad to see some uh, Raven representation, though. Shout out to Raven. Okay, Shinobi Kun, 904. I'm just call him Shinobi uh, versus Static. Okay, very dangerous. Xiaoyu's playing with fire because down back 2 1 still works in this game as a quote unquote infinite against BT characters, so gotta be really careful with it. Whoa. Okay, nice punish. Interesting. Turn steal out. Kind of dangerous. Wow, safety. Got the mistrust option. Okay, I like the heat smash or heat burst here, though. All in wall stand 3 2. Let's go. Okay, that is spin, so damage potential is reduced. Drops the combo. Force 50 50. Plus frames. Yeah, there you go. Just, go, just take the. Uh, the, the soul zone too because I think realistically it's going to be AOP anyway because when he attacks he comes down from the right to the bottom left so it probably would hit wow 4-2 on raw holy shit it's so weird now that's there you go that's what I'm saying look at that option select oh she wants to stay back shirt uh oh or 50-50 infinite uh oh okay no duck though oh okay yeah the wall stand charge too is a little bit too slow oi and he's off the wall, so fortunate. Oh my god, but he gets clipped by the forward two, which makes no sense to me. So so after heat engager, you're plus 17, right? Forward two is a high. The only way you're getting hit in that position is if you're literally, like, mashing. And by, sorry, by mashing, I mean literally not doing anything. Because I think forward two is probably too quick. Okay, I like the two option. Okay, too far out of the air, able to get the standing uh, 1 plus 2. Okay, easy kill. Yeah, I like it anyway. 1 plus 2 with Raven is completely safe on block regardless. Of course, out of back turn, it's the power crush, but different story. Ooh, nice little back sway option select there. Sick. The back 1 plus 2. Okay, good patience. Quicksand takes his turn back. Commits in. White hole option fishing. Frame trappy. Okay, luckily he's not airborne. Oh, is he dead? Oh, she's grounded. Okay, good block. I don't know if Xiaoyu can punish that proper, though. Okay, nice. Heat smash through the power crush, the BT Shadow 1 plus 2 option. Okay, bleeding. Back 2 option. I think you want to back back 2. Oh, nice duck, and that's just enough to kill. Nice, good shit. Okay, I like this pick. I like the Claudio pick here. Uh, Shinobi versus Shadow Toynesy. Ooh, nice conversion off the wake up kick. Yo, let's fucking go, son. Full splat two. Delicious. Okay. Poking through. Fishing. Yeah, that's a back two two on counter hits plus eight still. So you can hit confirm into one four. In that position, Shinobi just popped the trigger anyway. He wasn't afraid. You still have to react to it. The the BT1 still hits on uh, frame 8, so it's very, very fast. Okay, Shinobi doing really good so far. Plus frames. Yeah, wow, back turn parry just in range of quicksand. I can do it once, I can do it again. You want to see it a third time? Now fourth time? Okay, force 50-50 incoming. Oh, I don't know about... Yeah, I don't know about the um, chariot there, though. Look at, Look at all the health the Shadow just got back to. Oh, I like that. 
Well, I'll stand for into Heat Smash. I think the Heat Smash for Raven is 17. Well, I'll stand for usually generic plus 5. I think Raven's is plus 5. I option. Yeah, they, they changed the frames on back 4 1 in this game. I think it used to be minus 9, and now I think it's plus 0. Okay, that's a kill. Yeah, no spin used yet. Easy kill. And I, I respect that. Shadow just popping the Heat Smash just so he has access to the infinite Starburst, which then allows him to do Starburst back 4 2. Back 4 3 2. My apologies. Okay, that was a big round. Sight. Okay, back sway out. Fishing. The 4 2 3 is completely safe on block with Raven. Wow, okay, no fear. 3 2. Recognizing that Shinobi wants to do something. Oh, okay. Back turn trap. Let's go. Ooh, and he's dead. Back 4-4, four, four, and now what? Oh, into running. Oh, weird. He didn't do running 1 plus 2. Yeah, running 1 plus 2, I think, does more damage. You probably want to guarantee the kill there. Wow. <laughs> Tries a uh, snake dash mix-up. Shadow just says no with the hop kick instantly. No fear. Okay. Yeah, the w weird wall positioning. Big uh, churn steal down back 1 plus 2. Uh oh, technical difficulty. Uh oh, what are they gonna do? It, I mean, in normal rules, Shinobi wins here. Uh oh. Remember PS4 to PS5. There's no Bluetooth in this one. Right, right. I'm not sure what happened. They're gonna play it out. They're professionals. Okay. We understand. I mean, it's I guess it's more of an exhibition than anything, but I definitely would have taken the round. Okay, no starburst. Yeah, I like the back one. Okay. Wow, he's too far. 4-3, plus frames. Nice break on the orbiting moon. One check out. Fishing goes for Unicorn Tail. Yeah, there's just no time. Yeah, they, like I said, they... Uh, you don't necessarily have to take the game, but the amount of time burnt there was huge. All right, here we go. Prepared to the nth degree, but okay, different team. I wish I knew the team names here, but we got Spiritin uh, versus... Oh, okay, we're gonna start right. okay, technical difficulty again or something. Oh, maybe, I guess they didn't want the stage because they probably did quick match or something. Okay, now Spiritin versus Shadow Twainzy. Okay, big down one. Interesting. Oh, got to his back, doesn't commit, 10 string. I'm surprised. Usually that 10 string, I think, has a 15 frame penalty on it. So that back two, as far as you know with Claudio, still hits on 14. Okay, flinch option. Okay, commits, no punish. Oh, wow. Oh, big. Off the wall, doesn't matter. Nice back two. Easy kill. Heat dash just for good measure. Don't worry about weird wall axes. You get the heat dash or heat burst into heat dash cancel option. Nice read. Oh, big. Kind of commits hard there. I like the down one. Down one with that massive hitbox still. No break on the comp too. Big counter trade in Shadow's favor. Hit him with the down 4 2 on thir uh, 14. My apologies. Wall's good. Back 4 4 carry. Okay, spicy. And nice, not getting any penalty because of that either. That was sick. Okay, no challenge. Yeah, down back 1 plus 2 off Starburst is safe on block, uh, as far as I know. But it's also not plus. <laughs> oh, big stand 4 beating the hop kick. A nice punish on the pedal pump. Okay, 4-4 four, four, lockdown. Giving a solo 3. Wants to see how Spear wants to react to it. Uh, stand 3 has no mix-up with Claudio. It's stand 3-2 or stand 3 nothing. That's all there is. Wow, big Iron Mountain, but he's not on the wall. Unfortunate for Spiro. Goes for the rank 2. A okay, staggered hop kick. Lockdown. Interesting. Is Spiro dead? Oh, it's going to be close. Mm, okay, if he could get downstairs without popping the wall, he'd be dead for sure, but I don't think it's a dead uh, kill now. Oh, no. Low slump. Is he dead? Oh, no. Ah, uh, non-clean range on the Devil Man, and I like uh, Shadow taking the down forward 1-2 punish there. 
Uh, there's a little bit of risk involved, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter. He's close enough for the demo man to easily get punished. I, I, I would imagine down forward one two might have a little bit more range than hop kick, but I, I don't know for a fact. But in either case, down forward one two is the stronger of the two launch lines, so wants to guarantee the kill. Okay, we have King Ray Jr. versus Shadow Twenty Z. Okay, four for two. Wow, one plus two able to get the heat. Uh, sorry, wall blast in that position. Okay, four for four. Tries to go for a reset, maybe. Down for three off the micro dash. Wow, interesting. So that's something I've noticed too. So low highs typically were minus 12. I don't think they're minus 12 anymore. I have to look it up because the same thing happened to me against a law player. He did a low high and I, I didn't get the duck, but I tried punishing the second hit and it was safe. Okay, 2-1. I think that's jailing now, which is an unfortunate change. Just like Xiao Yu allows for some stupid offense. Okay, 1-1 one, one series goes three line, safe on block. Audio without a Sabaki uh, or a uh, reversal, so he kind of has to hold that. Okay, oh, wow, interesting. Doesn't want to go the easier <laughs> rage art route, just running to you all the time, I like it. Wow, big hop kick. Okay, is he going to break? Oh no, wall blast is not up. Yeah, in case you don't know, you can look on the ground to see if the wall blast is a thing. Otherwise, once you're to the wall, it's there, but you notice how the wall, the ground is glowing. That's how you know. Okay, down plus two again, forward two. Already in Naniwa Gusto without meter usage. Okay, that forward one plus two for sure was an input mistake. There it is. Okay, this time gets the four for one plus two. I'll give a shout out to my video about that. I was going to say that. Uh, top right corner. When the recognized mistakes and how to punish people for it. Okay, while wow, playing chicken, keep in mind, uh, Claudio forward one plus two is not safe on block. I think it's minus 16, although it opens up instantly on the frame. When you complete it with non-starburst, it's minus 14, and then when you complete it with starburst, it's minus nine. Okay, gonna be difficult. Oh, is that a timer scam? Oh, Shadow could have rage hard himself. Oh no. I wonder who would win in that position, knowing that King Ray is going to try to timer scam there. I wonder if you could just pop the trigger if the uh, Rage Art on defense would be faster. I'd have to look that up. Oh, oh man, I just realized Shadow won that round too. Holy shit. Okay, good break. I like the 4 for 4 uh, chase down. It does take away Sabaki and Perry off the table. A little bit too far, but he wants a meaty 4-3 charge. Beautiful recognition from Shadow, not panicking, just simply steps off of the wall. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, it doesn't break the wall. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, okay. I thought that was going to break the wall, too. I, I guess that makes sense. You're, you're technically in low slump on that position, and low slump does not activate uh, those situations. Okay, that might one four. Or four, he's going to pop the heat. No, he wants a little bit of running Oki. Or to cancel into full crouch down for two fish. Yeah, I, I like how King Ray is, um, Junior, my apologies, is keeping his uh, offense dynamic. Okay, the, a little bit scary committing to the punch pairs. You can react to those and duck them. Okay, Demic, do you want Claudio is completely safe from Tekken 8? Uh oh. Okay, no wall blast, so he's not dead. Yeah, I mean, Shadow's still going to pop the meter here just for the bonus damage. Oh. You know what's really cheeky about the down back 1 plus 2 usage in this position? Is down back 1 plus 2 is actually a steel pedal attack. So even if, if King Ray Jr. stays on the ground here, the down back 1 plus 2 will still hit him. Now, granted, it won't it won't launch him in this position, right? But it still would hit him. So good, good read. Yeah, uh, Shadow did really, really well. I like uh, I like the Claudio play there. Okay, let's start. Let me get some to drink. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Losers finals. We have uh, May May versus Junior Twenty Z. Okay. Wow. Electric in some wall stand two line. Okay. One uh, one two two full splat. Yeah, Mishima style. I like the 4-4, lockdown option. Good read on the incoming, um, I don't know if that's, God, what is it called? The one option's a homing attack. Basically from, oh man, 
Big stone head. Luckily, no wall, though. Oh, yeah, no escape. Yeah, the Unsoku throw or Sentai throw, whichever one it is. Yeah, inescapable, but does no damage, and it puts Mamie back in it, but... Where was the heat burst, man? Where was the heat burst? Where was the rage art? I that was a that was a scary combo. Uh, sorry, uh, Heaven's Wrath. Heaven's Wrath? No, that doesn't sound right. I can't think of it. Okay, caught him counter hit. Pop it immediately. Wall's good. Okay, maybe not that good. Oh yeah, it is Heaven's Wrath, right? Damn, I'm so confused right now. Okay, one more option. Force 50-50. A little bit scary. I would imagine Jin can probably parry in between that. Okay. Baiting the heat option. Goes for the high. Yeah, that is a frame trap, so you have to guess in that position which way she can go for. Oh, is she stuck in stance? Oh, Junior commits to the 4 4 2. Uh, but Mei Mei with the beautiful rage art there, though. Nice. Okay, he tries to Soku her way out of there. Gets clipped by 4 4 2. Giving uh, Mei Mei the heat. Where are these combos, though? These combos are rough. They overhead, backs away, don't want to deal with the 50 50, drops the input. Big down two, wall's good. Okay, good. Little back two, one short carry. Interesting, he's too close though. Nice launch punish. That that sucked. I feel bad for Mamie in that position. Still able to get the stomp though. Nice. Or 50-50 takes the ground stomp. Okay, too far to link. Mamie has a big hill to climb. Oh, wall crush lockdown. Gotta be careful. Four for two, he's stuck in stance. That's gonna kill him. Oh, what a read. What did he do there? Okay, so playing chicken, back dash away. Four for two, demon paw lockdown. Gets a bad input. Oh, he's just out of range after the four for two via back dash. And then he racks to it because four for two. I think she can just commit the soul four for two. But, like, every player on the planet's going to hit three, right, to enter into... Like, I, I don't remember. I don't know if it's... I'm pretty sure it's Sentai. Maybe, yeah, it's not in so good Sentai. So, four for two, three. And by that time, it's too late for uh, Junior to cancel the stance. The same... Uh, something very similar, like, post uh, Hell Sweep meta with her. Basically, the way I put it is, uh, post Hell Sweep, you should either Power Crush or Duck. It, because either she's going to be stuck in stance... Uh, oh, I mean, come on. That was a proper punch. That wasn't just a shake my hand. That was a good read from him. Gotta give him credit where credit's due. But yeah, so either she comes to high, goes for the, the Heaven's, like I said, Heaven's Wrath, I'm pretty sure it is. Heaven's Wrath 1, uh, which is the high, which is the counter tool, which beats Power Crushes and Mash, uh, but then loses to Duck and, you know, so on and so forth. Otherwise, Power Crush, if you have a quick one, it's really good. Okay, we got Mei Mei versus Static. One down two, nice back turn cancel. I like Mei Mei counter stepping into down two. I like that idea there. If Static drops uh, RDS and goes for a 50 50, the down two should theoretically clip her. Okay, four side three. No break on the one plus two. It's going to do a ton of damage. Break the wall. Okay, wow, able to link in the four for two one. Spicy. Oh, drops the input. He gets the. Uh, the roll instead of 4 for 3 plus 4 off the balcony break. Okay, no duck on the high. All in 50 50 forced. Oh, okay, okay. Commits the 4 to 1. Or the, yeah, why not? Okay, pops the meter. Ah, uh, BT down 3. Yeah, it's going to be hard to make. Whoa, hard to make the read. Oh, my God. <laughs> Against that there, so. Okay, this time goes for hip low. Big neutral hop kick. Maybe he's hitting quite a few of those right now. Okay, waiting for her to get up. I like the patience. Wow, interesting. Oh, what a treat! Okay, able to dash in. <laughs> yeah, light punish though. Uh, Jin down two is 14. So, uh, Shao Yu can uh, wall stand 1 4. Oh, now she's dead. Okay, Rage Art. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just Rage Art. What the fuck is that? Come on. What? I. The only thing I can think of is he tried doing down forward 1 plus 2, which is Rage Art input, right? But he was in Crouch Dash, so it gave him Crouch Dash 1 plus 2, which OS isn't a. 
one. Because, yeah, crouch dash, one plus two, the rage drive is gone, right? So, oh, man, that's rough. Okay, one, nice pair on the hip mid. Churn steal plus frames. Back churn force 50-50 incoming. Good defense. Beautiful step. Okay, please get him on the wall. Okay, that's cool. clean splat. Doesn't chase down. Oh, he eats it down forward two, but he didn't transition into crouch dash, which then allowed static to churn steal at the back one. A nice hop kick. May May is reading the shit out of static, but he needs to convert here. Back one two short carry. Geyser option 50 50 forced. It was for the one plus two. I don't have sound on, so I don't know if he got the chest frame. <laughs> okay, May May is playing mad. You can talk trash back? No, okay, okay. I respect that. Talk trash once the game is done, yeah? Okay. Lockdown, transition out. I would imagine Jin's pretty good against Xiaoyu's um, AOP. Okay, electric line, nice. Okay, keep it simple. Interesting, I don't really like the drop there. I better to take the CD3 instead. Would left him out of rage anyway. A nice movement for Mei Mei. Oh, and he's dead. That's a kill. Yeah, these little micro steps are so clean. Yeah, Static was having major problems locking down Mei Mei in that position and just rotted out, unfortunately. Okay, we have uh, Shadow 20Z. Or, sorry, other way around. Mei Mei versus Shadow 20Z. Good patience. Hits him with the low. Cancel. Speaking of which, lockdown. Oh, nice challenge. Run two again. Oh, these checks are huge. Huge checks. Big counter down for two. Okay, this is not the breakable wall, though. Oh, it is. He just is on the, the tip of it. Wow, that's so fortunate. Oh, God, look at the damage. Look at the damage. No fear. Heat smash is a kill. Super unfortunate for Mei Mei. That was like two touch for Shadow. That was crazy. Okay, Dominic 3 option. A little bit scary. No fear, though. Okay, doesn't commit to the punish, though. No, doesn't commit to the punish. Okay, too far. Well, a bunch of CDS dropping. I like it. Nice read on the back one. Whoa, what the fuck animation was that? The 4 for 4 hitting like low slump roll or something? <laughs> that was super weird. Okay, commits. There we go. Got the punish this time. Plus frames. I don't like the 1 plus 2. That position changes. Wow, look at that. No wall splat. Uh, because the spin on back 4 uh, 1 is gone. If this is T7, that would have launched. But yeah, we're not playing T7 though, so that was big. Wow, downboard one beating it. Nice. The downboard two with Claudio is 14, so that was correct. Although there is no input buffer on the opening gambit phase of the game, so. Okay, lock down. Nice, max punish. Get me off the wall. Give me meter. Huge for uh, Shadow. Ooh, clipping. Okay, out of the air. Yeah, no, nothing guaranteed, but it gets Starburst again with counter 4 for 4. Into running 1 plus 2 this time. Nice. That massive hitbox, despite the fact that it's effectively a high, uh, the, the hitbox on it's gigantic in that position. So the 3 plus 4, even though it's like fairly early in the frame there, he's still fully in standing. It's kind of similar with the uh, FDFA or FDFT, sorry, down 4. As soon as you hit the down 4, your character goes from a grounded state to fully standing in one frame. Now visually they're not standing, but according to the game they're in full stand. Okay, we have Rizza versus Shadow Twinsy. Okay, nice movement, evading these incoming 4 for neutral 2s. Or 1 plus 2, sorry. I like the down 4 2. I, I don't believe Claudio can sidestep down 4 2, so that will always be on Cla uh, Shadow's mind. Okay, no punish. Uh, minus 11 on the back 4 2. They did nerf that in this patch. They lock down. Down 4 1 solo poke, the challenge at minus or plus 9. I like it. Wow! Oh, bad combo! Doesn't matter, solo down there. Whoa, okay. Punish goes for the chop. I respect that. You never know. Demic 2 is just slow enough to catch some people off guard. 
but no cigar there for Riza. Inching solo back one. Okay, Riz is trying to establish uh, space control here. Well, I like the four for initial two. Okay, hit him with the one plus two option. Okay, I don't really like the wall throw. Let's, yeah, shadow escape for free. You're able to hold forward off of the wall to escape. Okay, good break on the DDT. I do like the immediate heat burst. Maybe, actually, I take it back. In hindsight, I don't like it too much. Because oftentimes, king players will commit to another throw. At po oh, is he dead? He's probably dead, isn't he? Okay, uh, this combo is not the best. And it will not be a kill. Yeah, there's too many hits of scaling for this to be a kill. Yeah, plenty of health left. Although, it does destroy red life. So, Riz is going to do this old-fashioned way. Oh, I... I don't know if he challenged there after the back three or what. Uh oh, okay. Not looking good for uh, Riza, sorry. Okay, back 4-4, four, four, short carry. That's pretty spicy. I gotta remember that. And 50%, basically gone like that. Big check, okay. Duck Shep out. Shadow's like, I got one of those two. Okay, big damage. Force 50-50. Like I said earlier, the down back 3 plus 4. I just noticed, why is there a triangle on the screen? The down back 3 plus 4 uh, does cause steel pedal. Okay, one second. Let me refresh this here. This is 338. My apologies. I don't think it's been on there that long, but you never know, right? Hopefully not. Okay, we have a uh, dash tree versus Shadow Twenty Z. Big counter trade, super in Dash's favor. Okay, Wall's great. Pops the meter. Okay, wants the unscaled line. No, opts for the Force Fifty Fifty. I do like the Wall Stand One One there from Shadow. Massive plus nine allows for uh, proper applied pressure. Okay, Dash is bleeding. Down to two. Okay, yeah. Down to two doesn't really do anything on uh, Starburst effect anymore, but it's still a decent low. Although it has a janky ass animation now. A nice movement. Big. Yeah, Shadow's trying to apply proper pressure, but Dastry using that uh, I-13 wall stand too to turn steel out. Yeah, Shadow's specifically looking to counter step and then go overhead with like a forward four. But he needs to play a little bit faster to lock down Dastry. Like solo back one, down four two ideas, stuff like that. It's a little bit trickier now that Magic Four is effectively gone for Claudio. Because he still has four three, but he doesn't get a combo except against like two characters. Okay, back one is huge. Okay, realignment. Okay, nice recognition that he can't get max damage. Don't need to go for it there. Wow, big down back one plus two. Oh, this is gonna be close. It's probably a kill. But we'll see. Oh no, not quite. Yeah, I didn't consider the fact that Shadow had like full health. <laughs> oh, the two ones just enough to lock down Dastry though. Ouch. Okay, open gambit for two two. I don't know if Shadow you can punish that. So only certain characters can. Uh, Claudio, Elisa, uh, Dragonov. Okay, input mistake. Big back four two. Doesn't pop the heat dash for the kill, though. Going to do it that time regardless. Nice. And what was the setup there at the end? So it goes for AOP 1 plus 2, down for 1. So, yeah, like I said, doesn't heat dash there for the win. Backs away, side step 4, lockdown, and then Alkin, back 4, 2. And the back 4 miss, but it doesn't matter. The 2, um, I guess, uh, tracking to Shadows right there to flip the side step. I, I have a feeling AOP drop probably would have evaded it, but I, I don't know for a fact. Unexcited. Let's get it, Fox Allen. Okay, this should be grand finals. Yeah, we have unexcited uh, versus junior twenty Z. Ooh, I'll stand too far out of the air. Let's go. Oh, nice back one uh two into debug. That back two locked down. Okay, we are playing offline. Keep that in mind. Okay, doesn't commit. Nice hit confirm. Okay, running three, lockdown. Okay, heat dash. Big four for three. I like the up back one plus two there. Takes away Junior's ability to turn steel, so I respect that. Okay, force 50-50. I like the forward one. 
Ord 1 anti sidestep tool still in Tekken 8. I don't think it's nearly as good as it was in T7 when it came to the hitbox, but still decent. Okay, wow, these are so scary. 4 2 plus 5 option to down my Q. Okay, got him to power bomb, force 50 50. Does it go for anything? It goes for a, a manual. I'm sorry, a manual win windmill line? What the fuck was that? Out of the air. Yeah, yeah, Demic one too far, unfortunately. Oh, I do like the, the heat burst back, though. That's good shit. Uh, is he dead? No, too far for the wall. Oh, no, he did solo poke. He did so. Oh, he did more than a solo poke. And that is a kill. That sucks. Because <laughs> I, think, I think the solo poke was meaty, that he would have been okay. But no, not in that position where he had already committed to the string. Unfortunate. I like the challenge. Wow, I'm excited hitting him with some janky ass lows. Yeah, I like it. Manual line. Too far, though, unfortunately. I do like also the. Uh, wow. The roll up, applied pressure, and then don't do anything, but unexcited just clips them big. Ooh, shoulder. What? Why would you come. Yo, unexcited, feeling himself. Okay, no punish. Minus 14. Okay, too far. Big, is that a kill? Oh, it is. Holy crap, that was that was a clusterfuck of a game. What the heck? But I mean, that just threw Junior off. The timing uh, of unexpected, or unexcited, my apologies, was unexpected. That was, that was, that was a nutty freaking game. Okay. Unexcited versus static. Okay, nice duck, light punish. If you're going to duck, you might as well commit. Even wall stand 1 2 or wall stand 1 4 or whatever, there is perfectly fine. You don't necessarily have to go for the big boy 15, but still, the wall stand 1's only. Or, sorry, wall stand 2 is only one frame quicker, so. Okay, these ground hits are eating uh, unexcited alive. Commits the wall stand 1 plus 2, and it, it tracks, huh? Okay, I like the Dynamic 1 idea, but the timing wasn't good. Gave him tech uh, rolling vulnerability. Okay, lock down. Peter pop, safe on block. Running three from downtown, that's a kill. Okay, yeah. I would say normally, yeah, just Rage Art there, but that's okay. Taking the Heat Smash simply because Unexcited had no health. Okay, no punish. Back one interrupt. Into the Firecracker. His trust applied pressure, commits, no punish. Okay, there we go. Wall stand 2 4, churn steal out. Static trying to hit. Okay, way late on the punish. Okay, static has really superior wall positioning. Okay, no punish. Oh, okay, if he AOP ducked there, I would have been I would have freaked out. Okay. Plus frames, big back churn down four. Oh, he doesn't get the wall. It's not a kill. Oh, okay. One two one mash out. I respect that. The one two one is safe on block, and Jack is such a big character. Like, what is it gonna do, right? <laughs> what did that <they> jump? <laughs> okay, root kick option. Wall's great. Oh, oh, off the wall. Uh oh, oh my god, he put him back onto the wall though. Oh no, jump rope. Oh, where's the heat burst? 50-50 forest. Immediately goes for the heat, uh, shooting star heat smash. No fear. Okay, Bloodhawk for a static. Okay, looking for a major mistake. Nice challenge. Okay, cancel option goes for the safe mid kick. Plus frames takes the 50 50, or uh, ducking option goes immediately for D slide. Wow, in range and wall splat clean. Okay, big boy damage. Ops not the heat, but uh, dash cancel there. Wouldn't have worked, but nice. Yeah, that, that's a proper punish. The uh, mistrust is like minus 16, minus 17, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter. The law, heat smash, I think is like 15. Plenty fast, the, the punish there. Big counter trade. Okay, nice recognition. Little bit of micro step. One plus two there from Bloodhawk. The make sure Static was stuck in the corner. Great recognition on wall positioning uh, and takes away like any variability that might be getting him killed. That's one of the benefits of, of Tornado Spin in general is, yeah, you can you can walk around your opponent and have plenty of time to do extra things against them. You don't always have to go for the immediate tailspin and, 
you know, prey or on axis. No, you can you can make yourself on axis or purposely off axis. Okay, heat smash out. Luckily, Bloodhawk's airborne, so the damage is heavily reduced. Okay, commits the forward. Uh, wow, one three. No punish, but nice punish there from Static. Wall's great too. Lockdown. Who I like the delayed side roll from. Uh, Bloodhawk escaping incoming. Okay. Wow, what a challenge. Nice duck. Okay, back three is a little bit spicy. I would imagine AOP beats it clean. Okay, good break on the uh, one plus two. Okay, Bloodhawk burning the clock. Got him to overcommit. That does not work. That's minus 15. That's also not minus 15. Oh my god. That was a clusterfuck. Okay, so right in Tekken 7. Okay, so in this game, uh, Rage Arts uh, are, tw I think they're 20 frames, but they're minus 15. So Palakis here goes for his, right? Minus 15 into a 20. Doesn't work. Minus 15 here. But Static goes for Hop Kick. Which is not I-15, it's uh, I-16, I believe, with Xiaoyu. He needed to go for back 1 plus 2, the old down forward 2 slide 1. And then still there, Bloodhawk didn't properly punish the hop kick. And luckily, he's out of clean range uh, for the, the RDS down four, the BT down four, to not like properly launch. Otherwise, Static might have been able to still clutch out something. But non-clean BT down four. Super fortunate. I mean, probably not enough time uh, for Static to come back in that position, but still, that was that was that was that was rough. <laughs> oh wow! Again, shout out to Namco for how quick this game loads relative to Seven. You really get spoiled because Seven was so bad when it came to loading times. Of course, on PC and SSDs and stuff like that, it's significantly better, but still, it doesn't not hold a candle to T8. Okay, nice. Bane's a 50-50, sorry, Bloodhawk versus Shadow 20Z. Bane's a 50-50 and goes for a 4-3 cancel instead. Okay, 1-1-1 one, one, one line option. Big wall uh, blast. Can do a good amount of damage. Okay, can he get to the wall? No, it doesn't. Ops not to go for the Legend Kick, but doesn't matter. E slide into 1 plus 2 is guaranteed. Ooh, ooh, and it missed. The side step 2 got like it missed. <laughs> That was scary. They show a little bit of to action. Back shab out, no fear. Get him to low high, dash up. Wow, nice movement from Bloodhawk. Big counter at confirm, 1 1 1. Okay, good block. Oh, interesting. Churn steal, full crush out for 3 from Shadow. No, uh, that sucks. So that would be the correct punish if we're playing a pseudo like Tekken 7 game. So double flippy is now minus 14. The problem is Safina down for three is not 14 anymore. <laughs> okay. Is he going to pop the wall burst? Yes, he does. Okay. Can he, he can't kill here though, right? No, the scaling's not... The scaling's going to fuck this up. Now, granted, it's going to completely annihilate uh, Bloodhawk's red life. But it's not a kill. Yeah, look at that. It, ba it basically did like seven damage. There, there probably was a better line with some sort of heat dash cancel with Shadow. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. One check out of the air, triple one jab at the down four four two. Okay. I I still don't know anything about Safina. That does not look safe. <laughs> that that looked like a minus fourteen pushback. Okay, wall's good. Power spot line, no uh, tornado spin. Never mind, I take it back. He had a, a low parry, so that eats a tornado spin. He still could have got could have got a small combo there. Okay, four two three four line causing wall blast. Cancel, Force 50-50. Okay, shows a little bit of Scarecrow 3. Uh, Zafina does have a Scarecrow uh, Heat Smash. That might be what Shadow's setting up a meta for. Okay, pops it. Okay, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. Demic 2, nice. Good escape on the uh, Calm 1. Chase down Demic 3. Up for 3 out of the air. He probably could have linked the kill there. Not safe on block. 10 string. Punish. Yes, that is launch punishable. I try to tell you guys that. And that's a kill. Yeah, the entire 10 string is launch punishable. She has a string penalty on the whole thing. But at the same time, uh, it's like a, a, a game of chicken. When am I going to stop doing the 10 string, right? When am I going to stop it? And that's where you got to play chicken. 
Whoa, nice. Uh, wall stand forward, DSS cancel at the uh, D slide. Okay, single flippy, up forward one, cancel line. Wall's good. Okay, I don't know about the, the heat burst, though. Oh, that's why. He wants to pop the heat smash immediately, force 50-50. Nice escape. Okay. Gonna be a big hill to climb for Shadow. That 1 plus 2 is such a huge answer to Sphina. Not having to worry about stances is, is gigantic. Okay. Cancel option. Up forward one. Wall's good. And look at how much health Shadow has too. Big 1 plus 2 speaking of which. Oh no, he's too, too many hits for the... Damn, that's rough. Yeah, there were too many hits for the junkyard line, but beautiful. Like I said, that 1 plus 2, the, just the fear of having like an instant I win button, the beat stance, is so huge. Like, think about how like how scary Zafina is overall, right? And how difficult it is to properly have an option that beats, and now you just have a, a launcher <laughs> that wins against Zafina. Now, granted, I don't know if that's why Zafina is typically regarded as a lower tier character in this game. Um, I haven't played against too many really good Safina, so I can't really comment. But uh, you can definitely tell that she has gotten some significant nerfs. Like I mentioned, uh, she, her down 4 2 still hits on uh, 16. Her down 4 3 is now slower. It's now I 15. So um, that minus 14 Punisher is kind of off the table. And I'm, you know, granted, she still probably has something like that. But still, it's like, ah, I don't know. I, again, I don't know nearly enough about her to comment, so... But, um, yeah, that was the team tournament. That was, obviously, uh, top four action. Uh, Shout-outs to Fierce team, and good shit to Placus for clutching that out. It, people have been saying it, like, behind the scenes, but, like, people are saying Law is, like, top ten easily, at least maybe even top five. Um, I think over time, over this next month, uh, until EVO Japan, and probably at EVO Japan we'll start to see Law really show his colors uh, to maybe possibly uh, cement himself on that, that plus, uh, the top five throne. But we'll see. Who knows what the future holds? We're still a good month and two weeks away from Evo Japan. Um, of course, I will be going there, um, so feel free to hit me up if you're in the area. Otherwise, apart from that, uh, comments, questions, concerns, YouTube, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, if I made any mistakes, please let me know because uh, I do really want to learn from my mistakes because especially at this point, I'm still learning the game, of course. So uh, the more information I have, the better. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's much to announce. Like I said, uh, I do have the match review coming out on Sunday, but I think this will come out either right before this comes before Sunday or what. I don't think I'm releasing this today, uh, which is I think I'm recording this on Monday. So maybe later in the week. But I guess, yeah, uh, th this Sunday, I'll have a comment uh, with a link in the description, or sorry, in my comments, uh, to do your match submissions, and we'll take a look at you guys, your guys' stuff, so. Okay, that's it. Uh, Tyler GK signing off. TNS9. Um, CEO never sleeps here. And I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, or rest of the day. That's all.